What is up guys, and welcome back to the episode of F122 Mobile Racing Crew, but we are here for episode number 5 today for the start of season 2, and the first ever, Emilia Romagna Grand Prix. If you guys didn't miss the previous episode, the finale of season 1 at the French Grand Prix, definitely be sure to go check that one out before seeing this one. What an entertaining episode that was, as we now round out season 1 with a strong 4th place in the driver's standings, and so now claim our rewards. But now, the interesting thing about this episode is which team are we now going to sign for for season 2? We now have Rookie 2 unlocked for us. So, who are we going to side with? We have four teams. We have Aston Martin able to side with us. Unfortunately, we're not going to side with Haas, so we're going to have to throw that out. Uh, we have Alfa Romeo also on the table as well. And, of course, we can always re-side with Williams as well. And I was debating through Alfa Romeo and Aston Martin because Aston Martin has a slightly worse car, so maybe it would provide better racing. But at the same time, I want a car that can compete for race victories and podiums regularly with the driver that I have. So... After a while of debating, I think that Alfa Romeo is the best option that we have here. And Alfa Romeo does have a better car, ranked 596 on the uh, performance index. And uh, we will side with Alfa Romeo then for Season 2. Five Grand Prix, and our teammate will be Valtteri Bottas. So here is our new garage then for Season 2, obviously with the new Alfa Romeo car. And five Grand Prix starting at Imola, which will be interesting. I just don't have a chance to you know, upgrade our car from level 4 then to level 5. You won't upgrade it further because it's just 15,000 and I don't want to waste too much uh, tokens then. But this will be interesting to see how we do around the Villier Romagna. For the first time, we're going to do this then in the F122 mobile racing career mode. Obviously, it was released in the 2021, but it was not introduced then to the career mode. So we never actually got a chance to see how the career mode cars actually performed around this track. So this will be a first, especially with the new cars as well. But anyways, let's take a look at the qualifying so far. McLaren, Sainz, Perez, Verstappen, Hamilton, Russell, Norris, Ricardo, Alcott, and Alonso complete the top 10 with Bottas just outside the top 10 there in 11th place. But let's see how our first run goes around here around this Emilia Romagna Grand Prix circuit. Auto Jovo, Enzo, Itino, Ferrari as we come across the line to start our one and only hot lap here. Now towards the very out of time, Bernardo uh, down a third, three, fourth gear. Use the grass to slow us down a little bit. Taking a bit of caution to here as the sun is glaring on the curves, making it a little hard to see the racing line and just where to break here. But coming out into the next chicane here, Arena Spider breaking point flat out through here. And we go a little deep in there and we go way too far onto the gravel there as uh, we try to carry as much as we possibly can. Green for the 23086 there for us as we now come to what's the fast left hander up here. You gotta really commit here and you gotta really chuck the car in and pray the car will stick to the gravel. There's a lot of time to be found here as they take this corner flat out here just about there. Our car managing to respond beautifully as now come through this fast double right hand here. Down to third gear, clip that apex, get on the power. And unlike real life, where you have to be a little careful there on the power here, in this game you don't have to worry about traction control. So it's perfectly fine. Coming into the chicane, absolutely murdering those curves. There's a lot of time to be found if you can murder those curves. Right, 29.594 as our second second time which is a purple second second so hopefully that's a little promising for us coming into the final two points down to third gear clip that apex and clip that apex so probably gonna take that one flat out as well but just to be sure we don't boil uh actually just uh bottle our hot lap here we decide to take a bit of caution there but is this gonna cost us some time here as now come across the line here we go where's it gonna put us it's only gonna put us p11 just ahead of our teammate Valtteri as behind both uh, Ferraris, Red Bulls, Mercedes, McLarens, and Alpine. So we have a lot of work then to do for tomorrow's race. So let's get on to it. So here's the starting grid then. It is Leclerc, Sainz, Perez, Zappin, Hamilton, Russell, Norris, Ricardo, Ocon, Alonso, Us, Bottas, Gasly, Sonoda, Schumacher, Magnussen, Lassini, Albon, Stroll, and Vettel rounding off the grid. As the teams are all 2 by 2 in each row. Here we go, that's a 5 red light for the Amelia Reminded Grand Prix. And we drop the clutch too early. Yet again, as you get a terrible start off the line, you're having to defend from the upper tires. As you can see, the red boots are going to defend from Pierre Gasly here. As we now come now towards the first chicane, the time right out of chicane, down to uh, I think third gear here for clipping that apex. So now we're getting a little out of shape here. We're going to try to make a move and we're going to nip him up the inside here, coming towards the next chicane. Now, can we get our teammate here? We have a better run than him into the left hander here. We're going to give him the space to try to hang this around the outside, make a bit of contact with him on the rear. And then we try to get past, yes, uh, the Alpine investor and Uncle there forces onto the grass. We actually get both moves done on both Alpines, both into P9 of the Amelia Reminded Grand Prix here. Now looking to size up Lana Norris then into McLaren. 
as his team, I think, is up there well ahead of P7 here. Let's see if we can follow him through having to break there just a little bit. As you can see why, he break checked us in the middle of that turn as he now finally uh, forced our way through and up into P8 then of this Amelia Romani Grand Prix. With Daniel Ricardo is up next, then the other McLaren, the Honey Badger. Um, See if they can catch him then in this lost sector. Coming into the chicane, murdering both curbs. You're getting a decent run through there. Let's see if we can use that run and use that momentum to try and send it down the inside towards the final corner. Ricardo's a bit far from us, but do we have the confidence under the brakes to catch him? We are going to send it down the inside. No, we are not. We're going to stay patient, stay behind him, and wait for the next opportunity. We should be down this straight here as we now come onto the straight and start the second lap then of this Grand Prix. So far, Leclerc still weeks delay. Not sure how the other top six are doing so far as we're looking to try and pursue them as quickly as we possibly can. Then coming towards the very end of time, but another chicane then for the second time this race down to fourth gear. Clip both apexes. Let's see if we can get a good run through here. Those curves are pretty ruthless, I must say, in this game. Even in this game, the curves are, uh, I mean, they are still less, for, uh, they are still more forgiving than real life. But if you do ride them wrong, you still get it pretty crossed up here as they're make a clean move then around the outside of Daniel Ricardo and move it to P7 with a good run through that section game. Now we focus our eyes then on the Mercedes and actually with the upgrade that we had with this Alfa Romeo from level 4 to level 5 it actually put us on par then with both Mercedes to go very wide there with so much momentum on the outside there and it's on some of the surfaces here you don't lose too much speed but like that over there you lose so much speed so Having to be careful around here as I head up towards the chicane then for the second time here. Murder those curves. Got a good run through there, but we actually cut the curve too much there. And that's going to ruin our momentum here as we now come towards the final two quarters and off the lap. Still keeping that of Ricardo at bay here. But trying to catch both Mercedes here so we can salvage something good from this race. Down in third gear, going pretty deep in there, getting a tire on the gr uh, gravel there as we try to uh, really carry the momentum into here. And now we're having to defend that from Johnny Ricardo. Uh, he is pretty quick there in the straight line, and he will not be afraid to try and send it down the inside of the chicane. So we'll have to be pretty careful here as we now start the final lap in the Amelia Romagna Grand Prix. So going to make a move then. You can see his icon is winning the dive down the inside. Stays patient though. We take a good run through there. Our camera shaking a little bit there as he rolled the curves pretty aggressively there. Now coming towards the left right hander here. Turns 4 and 5. Flat up to the first section. Now getting a good run through there as we're absolutely murdering the curves. We're trying to get a good run through here. No purple first sector though, as if the AI just has the superior straight line speed down that main straight. We are pulling a gap though to Daniel Ricardo and slowly closing up then to George Russell. So can we salvage a P6 or P5 here from the Mercedes and steal it from them as we go a little wide there though. Uh, less wide than last time, but still losing a bit of momentum. Coming into this double right hander here. It's not making up too much time. We do make up a lot of time though in the chicane, so if we get the chicane dead right, we could see ourselves looking to make a move into the final two corners. Purple second second to 29.2. Can we get a good run through here, avoiding the corner cut? And yes, we have a good run then on the Mercedes of uh, George Russell then. Hamilton is just a little too far away from the That is up there though. But that will require A an AI mistake and B a huge player dive but as we dive down the inside then of George Russell force him away off there. And we had to take to the gravel there. Made a bit of contact there. I don't think he saw us coming. It was a very late lunch. But we will take that. I see we're coming with DRS open and across the line here. We are going to finish a P6 for our debut for Alfa Romeo. Uh, behind Schalke, who wins the Amelia Armando Grand Prix. And then behind Paris, Sides, Verstappen, and Hamilton. But ahead then of George Russell, Daniel Ricciardo. And with the other two we just overtook. And Lavin Norris and Esteban Alcon wound out the top 10. Thank you all so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed, definitely be sure to leave a like. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye, everyone.